Hey there everybody, so I know that we've talked a little bit about Ruth Asawa um, in the above and below forums on different topics, but right now we're going to talk about the internment camp and what happened to Ruth Asawa during that time. So originally the, uh, the outbreak of the World War II caused mass panic amongst the Americans and so because of that um, they really did think that the Japanese were going to try and get revenge on them even if they were Japanese Americans who were citizens of the United States um, and so because of that there was close to 120,000 um, people that were of that Japanese American descent um, and a lot of them were actually taken and put into these internment camps and the way that I started was her father was taken first um, the FBI just kind of came to their door and arrested the father and they didn't see him for two years. Could you imagine someone just coming to your door and really no warning just snatching one of your parents and just being like okay bye. I'm sure that that was really traumatizing for her. Um, and then two, they didn't see him for almost two years uh, and in April uh, Ruth and her mother along with their siblings, she had five, uh, were taken to a racetrack in California and um, for five months they actually lived in two horse stalls. Um, I don't know if you know how big a horse stall is but it's really not much bigger than um, the size of a, a bed really or even a bathroom. So imagine seven people living in those two horse stalls. That had to be a mate. Like it had to be so frustrating. Um, could you imagine if you and your siblings were stuck into a room like this? It would be so frustrating. <laughs> um, and they said it always smelled like horse dung, and so that was stuck in their minds. Um, and they were eventually taken to the a different place where they pretty much lived out the rest of the internment camp. And <clears throat> Ruth actually ended up getting a scholarship from one of the people there that allowed her to go to college in Missouri. Um, and she, one of the things that she said, uh, one of her quotes was, I hold no hostilities for what happened. I blame no one. Something good, sometimes good comes through adversity. I would not be who I am today had it not been for the internment, and I like who I am. And so she really, she really actually got a lot out of the internment, and it was a good thing for her in the end. And I think that we could all learn something from this because we all can learn from the bad things that happen in life, and it may not in the moment be something that we think is necessary for us but in the end it makes us better at doing what we do just like it made Ruth better at her art. Bye.